Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come back tomorrow. Sarah, did we get a call overnight? We did not. Did I start work today? You did. Is it now noon? It is noon. Am I working still? Not anymore. Why? Because they finally called and they're ready yes. for us. So we're getting our bags ready and then we are heading over to the hospital. To start this induction process. When we called this morning, they're like, well, we don't know. And hopefully it'll be afternoon. this afternoon. We still have a couple people ahead of you. And we were like, I was mm -hmm. like, well, I guess I should work today so I don't yeah. burn that time off. But then they called. Yay! Alrighty. We're arriving. Gonna find a spot to park or maybe New Valley. Here's our first room. American Pickers. There she is. There's Christina. <laughs> She's stressing. She's stressing. But I told her we have this beautiful painting. There's nothing to stress about. Well, here we are. We're in a room. Yay! So, induction's gonna go like this. It's three o'clock. Mm -hmm. They're gonna give her medicine mm -hmm. and they're gonna check in about four to six hours mm -hmm. and either go downstairs to labor and delivery on the second floor because we're on the fifth floor. See if the medicine progresses enough. If not, they'll give us the same medicine again. Mm -hmm. I'll put the name of the medicine on the screen because I can't remember it at the moment. Yes, but um, it's like we're gonna get that in batches of every six hours until you're dilated. Yes. Um, and yeah, they haven't like really done much otherwise. Paperwork. I just yeah, paperwork. I haven't been checked yet. I haven't. I will get a test for COVID, um, but they're just monitoring we the met, baby's heart rate and my heart rate and blood oxygen right now. We met our nurse, and then we're waiting for our midwife to come by. Mm -hmm. And so, what like the way that our group works is like it's a team of doctors and midwives, and um, my actual doctor that I've seen hasn't isn't here today, but their team is just like known for me and really kick butt and. Um, Whatnot. So we'll see probably some doctor, some midwife, some nurses. Yeah. Everybody loves our doctor. Our doctor's not here this week, but everybody, it's like Whenever they our ask, doctor's fan club here. Yeah. Whenever they ask who my doctor is, they're like, oh my God, he's my favorite. This is a, a trundle bed, just like in DVC. So that's my bed. We can order food. When it's just us two in the room, we're allowed to have our masks down. They just ask that we put them up when someone comes in. Yeah, and once, until I'm on the Pitocin, which is like the more intense induction medication, I can eat and drink. Um, so it's not until we move down to labor and delivery that I have to be on a clear liquid diet. Should we have told them that we're, like, we're so comfortable? Sarah, is your nose throbbing? <laughs> she got her COVID test. At least there's only one nostril. And we got an IV since our last clip. Yes. And we have orders for medicine. So mm -hmm. they're about to come in and do that and check dilation and everything. Mm -hmm. And we also got a menu. So Sarah's allowed to eat up here until we go downstairs and it's clear liquid meal. But this, they say the flatbreads and the quesadillas where it's at so i think after we i don't know are you hungry i'm getting hungry i'm kind of getting hungry we had a late breakfast and we can eat until i think until 10. yeah we can eat until 10. we also met and our midwife this is going to be a process and so they warned us like this could take 24 hours just being in this oh, room this so who knows if this vlog will have a baby in it right because this medicine is slow activation, that's why they check it every six hours, but once yeah. we check it and it starts getting to a point of three centimeters dilated, we'll go downstairs and that's when like the good, powerful medicine starts where it yeah. kind of speeds things up. Right, the Pitocin. Great. Life is good. We found the office on the TV. Alrighty, we got our food. We got grilled cheese and french fries, tomato soup, ginger ale, and pudding. Did I not get... I didn't... You didn't get a dessert? I didn't order a dessert. Oh, no, gosh. I did. 
put it over. Um, I keep forgetting, forgetting to cover this because it's got identifying information on it. <laughs> um, I got veggie quesadilla, three orders of french fries because you get three sides, but I got nervous when I was ordering because um, the midwife showed up and was like going to do stuff. So I was like, oh, just make, give me three sides of french fries. And in proper old Italian fashion, a black Starbucks cup of coffee with my dinner. Here's the quesadilla, and I'm super jealous of Sarah's pudding over there. Oh, but look at all these french fries. It feels like I'm working overnights again <laughs> at the hotel. They would get tater tots. Oh, yeah, they would be tater tots on top of it. It would just be, it would be a plate this size full of tater tots, which would be a recipe for disaster because it would just make you want to fall asleep at 3 in the morning. <laughs> we just watched Ben Rector's new music video to his new Thanksgiving song, and it was the Amazing. bomb. Yeah. Um, it's now almost 8 o'clock. Mm-hmm. Um, we met the night crew, and they were pretty great. Yeah. Sarah's vitals have been checked. Pretty mm -hmm. great. Feeling crampy? Yeah. Um. Pretty great. Getting the next check in about an hour. We're waiting on a ball for yeah. Sarah to bounce on. Yeah. Um, and we've just been watching The Office just relax, and it's freezing mm -hmm. in here. I have a blanket. I try and turn the heat up. But, like, just this little bit, but apparently to the point where it's either frigid or blasting molten lava air at us. <laughs> so, <laughs> I think we'd rather it be cold and layer up. Yeah. Um, I want to show you the moon, because from the room we're in, the moon looks cool and it's almost a full moon. Tomorrow's a full moon? Or I think Saturday. Halloween? I think Halloween. He cannot be born on a full moon on Halloween. He's going to come out like a werewolf. <laughs> hey, the sun in Carousel of Progress. Is that werewolf for Halloween? And his name is Jimmy. And the mom's name is Sarah. Okay, you have to have this baby tomorrow. Because <laughs> that's too much. So, we're on the fifth floor here. And Winnie Palmer's a really cool building. But I like these purple lights that are right outside our window. But look at that moon. Oh, I thought, I might have said bust out the Nikon and see if I can get on that. But that is a very full, bright moon. Just don't curse my son. Okay, I have the old school Nikon out. There's the moon. Whoa! This is insane, Sarah. Wait until you see this. Sarah's hooked up to a bunch of sensors, so she is missing out. Whoa. This is nuts. This is like a 15 year old camera. Alright, it is 10 o'clock. A little after. Um, we had one check. We've had two checks. I don't know. Did we show up? Did we talk about the first check? Yeah. It was just like the first one. Then. Yeah. So we've had one more check. So it was the first check after getting medicine. Mm -hmm. um, things are progressing. Not dilated at all. Mm -hmm. But things are progressing. I don't want to go too much into details because, because. medical stuff. <laughs> um, but it's been an hour after the second dose of medicine. We're going to do another check at 1 a.m. Mm -hmm. But now they want Sarah on the ball, which she's doing. Yep. We're going to do and that for a little bit. And some walk. And we're going to do the ball for a little bit, and then we're going to go for some walks around the floor. I'm going to go try to find uh, some bottles of Coke for her mm -hmm. when we go on. I when, need some carbonation. Yeah, when we go on the walk, but we're feeling good. Um, starting to feel a little bit more, though, right? Yeah. Starting uh -huh. to feel the medicine. Yeah. Tractions are a little, a bit more. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. We're just hanging out. We love, uh, we met the overnight midwife. Yeah, she's awesome. Great. Um, just everyone's it's been so really cool. good. It's so cool. My doctor is her doctor. Like, people love yeah, I got our doctor is her doctor, and she is the midwife for our doctor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. All the doctor is our doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really proud of you, though. Thanks. Noggin. Dude. <laughs>
Parkland South. What? How you feeling? Contraction-y. So we're gonna snack and then you're gonna get back on the ball, we think? Or are you not I... sure about resting until one? Yeah, I think... I don't know, maybe I'll eat on the ball. <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. Just like be active and then like once we're done, try and get some rest. Yeah, because the next check is until 1 a.m. So we do yeah. have an hour and a half. But I got way too much. Two bags of mist mix. Smoked barbecue. I got these garden salsas. Those are your favorite. I know, I didn't see any flavor. We got one bottle of Coke, one bottle of winter Christmas holiday edition cranberry oh. Sprite. I got me a monster. Um, I got me a dairy free cold brew and some donuts. Ready to manja? Yes. <laughs> we also have a fridge for leftovers. Yeah. Not exactly what we thought would happen in today's vlog. <laughs> Cut, yes and no. So we're going to cut the vlog for today because it's now midnight and mm -hmm. she's going to try to get some sleep mm -hmm. before 1 o'clock. We have another check at 1 and 1.30, but we don't, I mean, like, it, we're not going to go to labor and delivery at 1.30. Um, I mean, we could, we could, but it's not likely. We'll cut this here just because this was a good salad day's worth of <sighs> yeah. induction. I think, time. I think the next up to, like significant update will be the five o'clock check because we have a one o'clock check and then a five o'clock check mm -hmm. um and so that's why we're going to cut it now we're going to try to get some sleep mm -hmm. before those checks yes it's good to be at the hospital it's good to be at the <laughs> hospital to bring our baby home yes We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>